that's hilarious. I completely forgot to um, unmute our voices, so we can do the introduction all over again. Perfect. They didn't hear the mess-up introduction. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, hello everybody. Welcome to the S76SHL Entry Draft. I am your streamer, Rosepuff. I have That's with hilarious. me I HFO to, um, and our Mysterious so we Fish. Can do the introduction all over again. Perfect. They didn't hear the mess-up introduction. Yeah, there we go. I think you might be so, echoing somebody. Just make sure you mute the stream. Welcome to the S76. Or everyone. Oh, sorry. It's my first time streaming, so I've got weird all good. echoes all good. going on. My bad. I've done it before. Yeah. So... Welcome to the S76 SHL Draft. HFFO, take us away. Yeah, uh, we've got a uh, high-powered torrid affair. Uh, lots of trades leading in the week up to uh, the draft. Uh, one allegedly cocaine-loving GM making plenty of moves, but Alberta been very active. And uh, basically every GM around the league has gotten in on some of this action. Uh, I don't think anyone's been left out. But uh, we have an exciting night full of uh, draft picks and great users heading to even better teams uh, coming ahead. With that said, we have our first pick on the clock, uh, and there are rumors that there was a premature a draft your lake uh, occurring for this pick, uh, that it was made before the clock was actually active. Uh, punishments possibly abound, but who knows? Uh, but the Montreal Patriots are pleased to select uh, from the Carolina Kraken, it'll be uh, Jamie Frazier, the user 7. Uh, and truly, what can be said about 7 that hasn't been said? He's a high-power user, Max Ernst TP, runs the Carolina Kraken, did the uh, events head for a long time, uh, you know, did a lot of, like, revolutionizing or streaming and bringing it up to date. Um, you know, he, he had a long career in LAP with his last player, captain of team. Uh, I, th I believe he played over a 1,000 games, uh, one of the all-time great scorers. Just a, a, a slam dunk of a pick if one existed uh, when you're picking first overall. You're going to pair him with a guy like Calicar. Like, just think of the star power that's happening in Montreal this draft. Yeah, it's an abso absolutely amazing pick. Um, No-brainer at number one. And a user who's con uh, contributed so much to the site, uh, especially with the creation, creation of SHN. Um the this is going to be horrible i completely forgot the name of the podcast that shows up on twitch every every now and then uh hockey talks tonight yes HGT. Sorry, it's been a while since we had one i've only seen one of them but uh, it's always good uh especially seeing guest stars on the the stream and seeing who shows up and seeing the faces behind the usernames so it's really cool. Uh, and yeah, uh, no brainer pick number one. Yeah, an excellent pick for Montreal, uh, putting them together with just a, a very high power team. You know, can't can't say enough about how great this is for Montreal to be uh, you know, part of that rebuild. The tail end, honestly, they've got so much talent from drafts before too. Uh they they're looking real stacked. Uh, this will bring uh, the second overall selection on the clock. Uh, the Edmonton Blizzard, after making a absurdly large uh, decision to trade up from 5 to 2, uh, giving two first-round picks in exchange, uh, will be selecting second overall. Uh, kind of a, a surprise move that caught everyone's mock draft by surprise, so the league's TPE can... Uh, Leave their complaints in Eggcracker's DMs. Eggcracker9 on the forum, Eggcracker on Discord. Uh, I'm sure he will be more than happy to uh, reach out to you and apologize uh, profusely. Uh, he is my customer service rep and my agent, uh, so he handles all that stuff for me. But uh, yeah, uh, Edmonton uh, surprised rebuild this offseason by a lot of people. Uh, they just come off their a second consecutive President's Trophy, uh, won a cup the season prior, uh, seemed to be primed for a, a decent run, but, uh, you know, a, a rebuild did occur. Uh, lots of things were shipped out, uh, basically everyone, and now what remains is uh, a boatload of picks uh, that will be used to select in this draft. Uh, just waiting on to change the logo there. Take your time, no worries. I'm just just riffing here. 
Yeah, sorry, you just need to finish the up updating the next card before we show it. And with the second overall pick... Oh, hang yeah, on. the Edmonton Blizzard are... Oh, we're still waiting. Okay, <laughs> never mind. No, it's... It's a prank. I screwed up. Hang on one second here. All good. That didn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, for the record, Shawnee, I see you. It has been noted. Uh, you're being banned from the Edmonton Discord. Technical difficulties. One second. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Wouldn't be a draft stream without it. This is also Rose's first time doing it, so cut him uh, more slack than you would Jert. Um, Not that anyone ever cut Jert any slack. Rose, you you sh uh, usually if you change the pictures when you transition, it's gonna update. If not, you need to double click the source and remap them, which is a pain. I might need to do that. I'm just having problems getting the team background to update properly because yeah. try try transitioning it and announce it. Most of the time, it it adjusts. If it doesn't, then you quick quickly transition back and. Got to fix it by hand. All right, let's try it. Oh, nope. They're still showing the old team, but this is the Edmonton pick, <laughs> not the All Montreal right. okay. pick. Yeah, right. the the Edmonton Blizzard are selecting Alexa Johansson, uh, the user Cake three hundred seven. Uh, considered by many like one of the, if not the best, first gen of this class. A, a very active uh, media presence and locker room presence. Uh, when I was talking with Cake. Uh, they were, I believe, uh, by a, f a close margin, the, the user most named like people who people in this class would want to play with if they could pick any one of this class to play with. Um, you know, coming from the St. Louis Scarecrows, uh, they've been rebuilt by uh, uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Smo 27 uh, and he couldn't say enough good things about uh, Alexa Johansson. And uh, if there's one oh. person's opinion I ever value, it's uh, it's Jimmy's. Okay, that, um, that went weird. One second. There. That's transition. better. Yeah. Just need to Perfect. Yeah, the there we go. And you should be all right. Looks so much better in the blue and yellow. Debatable. Not at all. Uh, but yeah, uh, very excited to be able to bring in a, a player of this caliber. Uh, you know, a, a locker room presence, uh, uh, someone who wants to be in the war room, be a part of, you know, helping the decisions on the rebuild. Uh, this is the kind of person you want helping you from the ground up, from the... the from jump, that's the kind of person you want on your team. But yeah, this will bring us to pick three on the clock. Uh, the Calgary Dragons will be selecting. And, uh, if you listen closely, you can hear the sound of uh, the Calgary War Room screaming into a pillow. Uh, rumors have been abound that uh, uh, Johansson was their, their pick for the past two weeks until the trade earlier today had uh, ruined that, uh, that hope. Um, alas, uh, they, there are plenty of talents still on the board, and I have no doubt Calgary will be selecting an excellent talent. Uh, but uh, full, full faith in the Calgary GM selection and uh, bringing back the the Calgary Edmonton rivalry. Uh, the top, what is it? Uh, four or five teams here. Uh, they've been teams with a lot of picks lately. Well, except Edmonton. Edmonton's got a lot of future picks, but the other, you know, what four teams have been at the lottery the past two three seasons together. Uh, kind of in that like si ex almost exact same rebuilding period kind of fighting for the top prospects every year uh, it's kind of interesting to see how they're going to compete as they move forward uh, but three of these teams are in the east so uh, it's going to be interesting to to see how that goes uh, with the battle in the east 
uh, as these three teams become juggernauts, hopefully. Just waiting on the background color there. Perfect. Uh, and at pick three, the Calgary Dragons are uh, pleased to select Anna Scoveguard, uh, the user Phalax, uh, coming from the, the Quebec City Citadels. Uh, Phalax is an awesome dude. Uh, he's a, a proud, true blood Ohioan. Uh, he helped found uh, the Quebec City Citadels, uh, GM them for a long time. He's been a part of them. Uh, he's a longtime Buffalo player who's you know now moving to a different team. Uh, was on a defenseman last time, hit about 1,200 TPE, kind of went away for a little bit, coming back with a center, uh, hoping to uh, mimic that first player's career who uh, kicked some ass. Uh, he's a great dude. Uh, if you ever know anyone who likes Warhammer 40k or like Warhammer tabletop games, uh, he's your guy. He's like ranked top a thousand in the world or some crap. He's like, if you ever want someone who knows about that, he's he's your guy. Go to Flex for that. But uh, it's a great pick for Calgary, uh, bringing that Quebec City connection and uh, just a, a great guy in Flex heading to uh, Calgary. And with the fourth pick, the Manhattan Rage will be making their selection. Uh, some have colloquially referred them to them as the Manhattan Rage, uh, based on the uh, War Room member Hannah. Uh, she's got a, a very cute emoji on Discord uh, with a a rainbow knife uh, with a little rage image. But uh, yeah, that's uh, they're they're going to be on the clock. Uh, they've got a lot of connections around the league. And a lot of great talent still on the board, of course. So we'll see what Manhattan's deciding to do. Sorry, I can't see if you've moved it over. Um, have not. Give me one second. I am okay. No worries. Just arranging things for what Manhattan is about to do. Feels like I need a third and a fourth monitor. There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> you need a supercomputer, yeah. Uh, I need another set of hands. That's what I need. All right, Manhattan has made their selection, and it is. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Yilib Kove? Yilib Kove? So it's it's uh, Yilib Kove, uh, but uh, it's it's Billy backwards. Uh, Kevin named his player after uh, Evox Cat. Billy. Ah. Yeah, Evox Cat uh, Billy, who's a uh, a cute. He just got his st uh, stomach shaved, uh, so he's looking a little naked. But uh, Kevin. Uh, He's a person, not a cat, surprisingly. Uh, but he's a great dude. Uh, if you ever need math tutoring, uh, Kevin has been tutoring Jimmy for free for what seems like three years now. Uh, and he's good at it. He's very patient. He's uh, very knowledgeable. He's also just a really good dude to talk to. Uh, he's funny. He's insightful. He's not super talkative, but he's a, he's an excellent guy to have in your locker room. Been around the league a long time. Basically a sure bet to hit uh, 2K2P. Uh, this is a just a fantastic pick by Manhattan. They're getting a, a top-tier talent with a big bank and a great dude in that locker room who's going to fit in perfectly, I imagine. And this will bring us back to pick five, where Seattle will be making their first selection of the draft after trading down from pick two. I wonder who uh, pick two went to. I couldn't tell you. But uh, Seattle's first pick uh, of this draft, as we mentioned... Uh, they've been a team that's been rebuilding uh, since they had a GM change uh, when uh, Notorious Tig decided to hang up the, the GMing gloves, uh, so to speak, and pass it along to E. Fisherman. Uh, we have someone here on Seattle. I couldn't tell you who. I think it's Fish. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he's probably not that good anyway. But uh, yeah, so Seattle's going to be looking to looking to add some talent to a, a rebuild that's included some some great uh, names. There might have been some quieter names that people not on uh, teams with them might know. Like, uh, you got... Uh, who's the Yukon guy you have? Langston... I remember his No, wait. 
Yeah, Jexter. Yeah, Jexter, yeah, you have Jexter. Do you have Jexter? Wait, you do lying you here, Jexter? Right now no, you're qu you're making me question myself now. And that's right? that's. You have Squid. You have Squid. You don't have Jexter. We don't have Jexter. Jexter's on. Jexter's in Winnipeg. You lied to me. I did. Anyways, I'm sorry. That's okay. My player yeah. is going to be so terrible that it's a wasted pick, and it's going to. I mean, you're both back. left wings. So you get to stay on the second line. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. I'm. It's Tom Lander is a plug. He hasn't yeah. done much well, in the J. You got the Shadow Phoenix. What a great name. Eric Vanderberg Jr. Vandy's a great guy. Like, there's a lot of, a lot of talent on the team coming up. Uh, just need a, a bit of time to put it together. Uh, I did disrespect Adam. That's fair. Uh, Adam Entium did GM the team for a while uh, before uh, moving on. That's correct. Okay, this is. I think his Discord is Parliament or something, <laughs> if I remember. Uh, but yes, this will bring Seattle's pick on the clock. It we're just waiting on the color here, because that's not their color. Maybe the C is now full of blood? Uh, I, yep, <laughs> yep. And on draft day, God wept. Yeah, well, there we go. The pick is yep, in, and, and, and with the fifth overall pick, Seattle Argonauts pick Stavros Kondos. Ote. Another. Yeah, uh, his Discord's Oats, but what a what an absolute gem of a user. He's the draft class TB leader, getting him at fifth. Uh, over a hundred million in his bank. Uh, great dude to talk to. Really friendly. He's got a Bob's Burger profile Discord picture, uh, so you know he's he's you know he's chill. That's just like that that's slang for you know we're we're chill. Uh, but it's a it's an excellent pick for him. Uh, I I like the fact Oats is at five shows us a lot of top end talent in this draft. Uh, he. He's a great dude. Hit two cannons last player. I believe his last player was in like line for some awards as well. Yep. Uh, might be like a two way player. He won or was nominated like several times. He's definitely uh, somebody who's been uh, who's who's got a good history of great player, uh, great player before, and at fifth overall, I mean, he was projected to go in the top three, top two, before the trade happened for, uh, with Edmonton. And to has to still have him at five is is really good for Seattle. I think this is a great pick. Yeah, no, I, no bias from my end whatsoever. You don't need to be biased. You can type this pick up because it's deserved. He is an absolute gem of a pick. Uh, awesome, awesome to bring him in. I think it's going to be big for Seattle's rebuild. And uh, I, yeah, congrats for being able to get uh, a legend like uh, Ote into the into pick five. For sure. This will bring the Calgary Dragons on the clock with their second of three top ten selections. Uh, Calgary loving the top end of this draft, uh, moving up to get a crap ton of assets in that top ten. Uh, looking to make their second pick of the draft here. Six overall pick, Calgary selects. Oh, what the heck? They're gonna take Stavros Condos. Damn. Yeah, they're gonna take Stavros Condos. We're gonna have a double. Sorry, pick. Seattle. We're, they're gonna have a double pick contra uh, controversy here. Something funky is going on here. Hang on one second. Sorry, I just muted us. Um, the player card 
should be showing, but it's not showing. I don't understand what's going on here. Because I've already put in Jennifer Ha's player card, but it's not updating. What in the heck is going on here? And it's showing correctly as Jennifer Ha. Nope. And with the six overall pick, sorry for the technical difficulties, the Calgary Dragon Dragons select right winger Jennifer, huh? I don't know if that's the correct way to pronounce it, but that's the way I'm going to pronounce it. Jennifer, huh? Jennifer, huh? Uh, so this is a bum, uh, just terrible pick, terrible person, terrible player. I'm pretty sure all that money's embezzled. TP is probably embezzled. Uh, played on Kelowna, so bum. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I don't know why they would take him this high. Why take her this high? You know, it was just, just bad. It's um, perplexing, but no, B finds great. Uh, he used to GM with uh, with Boom in, in Edmonton, uh, ironically. Uh, now they're in Calgary together, uh, reunited. Uh, he's got a huge bank. He's a great dude, very personable. Uh, likes to make a lot of sarcastic jokes, which you know I like. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's a uh, he's a good dude. Uh, he's a great pick. Uh, he's going to be a great fit in Calgary, fit in that locker room culture. It's going to be uh, excellent for them for sure. Next up, with the seventh overall pick, we have the Chicago Syndicate. And the pick is in. Yeah, the Chicago Syndicate will be taking uh, Jove, uh, Jove era, uh, Max Belcher, uh, coming out of the Carolina Kraken. An excellent selection. Uh, Known for some great graphics. Uh, he does emoji editing. He's a great dude all around just to talk to. He's really funny. Uh, he's smart. He's got a quick wit. Uh, and an excellent player. It's uh, also a prime position getting a D-man. Uh, it's going to be a great pick for Chicago. Is this the first first gen to be picked? Or is... No. Oh, okay. Cake is the first first gen. Just uh, shows you how long I've been out of the SHL before coming back. Now I don't remember everybody's name. And to be fair, the SHL has grown hugely. Like, we have so many more players than we did before that it's absolutely, um, it's absolutely something to see. I think the last count for active... Uh, act, sorry for activity checks we had like 400 plus 450 plus which is something that is I mean I can even imagine that back in the day and <laughs> I say back in the day that's the s50s which isn't that long ago when you think about it yeah you know you can tell by the uh, the J expanding uh, that uh, there's there's just been a massive influx of people uh, that's that's without question but uh I think it's a, I think it's a great thing that uh, people are finding the hobby, liking to stick around. The portal's been huge for retention, oh, yeah. uh, which the numbers have shown. One hundred percent. It's so much easier. 
And with the eighth overall pick, Chicago, uh, uh, Montreal picks Jim Wieners. Yeah. Uh, so when you, uh, you know, you're you're in Montreal and you're trying to like get some American fans, you got to take the president, JFK, uh, John Franklin Kennedy. You know, uh, he's a popular guy. He's a really cool dude. Uh, he's a he's in college right now, so he's about to be on spring break. Been very active in the Discord. Uh, money may be a little low from where you want it. Build it up, I'm sure. Uh, TP's, you know, top of the class so much, uh, era. So much money-making Sorry. opportunity in the SHL now. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. It sounds like an old... I sound like an old man yelling at clouds when I say that. You say that, but I've been around since Season 5, so... I mean, I remember when I did play-by-plays, because that, that was... I remember was... when there wasn't an update scale. Okay, that that beats me. <laughs> My first player that. started with max skating and had TP left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not that old, but I still remember when it was like, I think, $100,000 per 100 words of media. Yeah. Or right. something like that. And it was, it was something else, that pay scale. Yeah. I digress though. Uh, it's a great pick for uh, the Patriots. Uh, he's a he's a good dude, very active. Uh, he'll fit that LR culture they're building, uh, and you know it's going to be a, a great forward for them to have moving forward, coming from the Nevada Battleborn. That brings us to pick nine, Calgary's last first round selection. Oh, I thought they had more. No, nope, it feels. I nope, got way. three. It did. It did. But, uh, no, just the three. Alrighty. And it is in. Yeah, uh, the ninth overall pick, the Calgary Dragons are selecting James Howlett, the user show car. Uh, he is a uh, wonderful person, uh, really fun to talk to. He's a huge nerd. Uh, he's uh, looking to get into like some TTRPGs that are away from like the standard D and D, some of the more harder stuff, like uh, maybe Pathfinder, Warhammer Fantasy. So if anyone's trying to set up a group, uh, show cards your guy, hit him up. Uh, really good to talk to. He's part of the recruitment team with Naomi. He's a friend of Naomi's, uh, so connect them in Calgary is going to be a great ad. Uh, it's a great pick. He's a, I had a great scouting conversation with him. I know a lot of people really like their talks with him, and he's going to be going to a, a wonderful Calgary uh, where he's going to excel. That's right, Shawnee and Murph. I am old. What are you going to do about it? I can shake my walker at you on the ice. And next up, we've got Atlanta. Um, it's another team. Like, it feels like they've been around forever, but they're actually relatively recent as well. And um, But they do have a great group of people. Um, a lot of people who have made their mark on the league. And when you think about Atlanta, is there a specific name that comes to mind? Hot Dog. For me, I think, when I think Atlanta, I think someone's going to win the cup. Oh. I just get a feeling in my heart that someone is going to win the cup in Atlanta. And it just, the two things just seem to fit together so well. I know, right? I don't know who I'm thinking about, but just, I get such a sense of, like, I'm gonna Atlanta say if you didn't, and winning if you the didn't cup. Get this just... in the, um, if you didn't get this in the in the mock draft, you're doing it wrong. You copied someone who had, had went to chat GBT and said, order these names. And with the 10th overall pick... Oh, that didn't work. That's James Hallett still. That's James Hallett <laughs> still. We got another stolen pick. Calgary steals from Seattle. Now uh, Atlanta steals from Calgary. It's a chain. It's a chain. Okay, something is going on because <laughs> it. you know who's supposed to be in there, but OBS apparently doesn't think that's correct. OBS is like, no. No, no, no. That's the wrong pick. We want this player for the pick. There we go. There we are. It's Nathan Angus Mc, uh, Mc Explosion. Uh, these are me cool. He's going to win the cup. He's heading to Atlanta. Uh, 
it's just two people like a, a team and a player that fits so closely together uh the for match, such a match long time made in fhm yeah truly uh he's got 90 million his tp is excellent uh playing left wing played on the raptors uh he's got the uh uri slavkovsky render uh which my player next season also has so miko will fight about it Con and also uh, but, congratulations uh, to the colorado, colorado raptors because miko did win a cup he did win the the four star cup uh, broke the streak of what's season 25 29 uh, for which... the colorado raptors yeah uh, yeah absolutely huge 29. They won before yeah. changing the names. I'm not going to count that. Okay, we, we won't count it. It's not real. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Mikul wanted to go here. Uh, they wanted Mikul. It's perfect. Uh, you know, Mikul's amazing. They're getting a, a gem of a person who wants to be on that team and, and stick with them, and that's great for them. And next up, we've got Nola on the clock. So we'll see what they do with their pick. In my heart of heart, I know Joe wouldn't snipe me after I told him who I wanted to pick. I know he wouldn't do that. He would never. I know I know Joe would never do that to me, not even one time. You know it to be true? Or you think it's true? No. No, I don't know it to be true. <laughs> um one second I see typing. And with the eleventh overall pick, look what Joe did. He took uh, Sava Kirk, uh, Kirk, uh, the user Tate, uh, the defenseman coming from the uh, Kelowna Knights. Uh, just an awesome person, a real team first dude. Uh, I believe he said he's going to switch to forward because Nola didn't need any more defensemen, uh, and he wanted to just you know stick with that team first mentality. Uh, he's he's awesome. Uh, he did a podcast uh, like three two three days before the draft. That's like a, over an hour long where he had his like own intro. Great stuff if you want to listen to it. But uh, yeah, it was a, an excellent pick for uh, for for Joe and the New Orleans uh, Spectres, and uh, he's going to be uh, very happy get Brandon Tate with that uh, selection. And then we've got Montreal back up again. Man, we seem to have quite a few teams in the first round that have accumulated a ton of picks. I see a lot of blue. There is a lot of blue. One of them's a forfeit, though. Yeah. But uh Montreal, Calgary and uh Edmonton have a uh, a notable presence in this first round to be sure. And this is the this is the third uh first for Montreal. Uh the second team we've had three first four already. Uh they will be the third team with three first by the end of the uh, first round. One team having four first round selection, being the Edmonton Blizzard. You could have had five. Okay, now let's see if we have... Nope, that still didn't work. OBS, what are you doing to me? All right, here we go. Yeah, and the uh, Montreal Patriots will be selecting Zoot, the player Deathclaw. Uh, what a fantastic name. Uh, Top-end defenseman of this draft. Uh, he's coming in with a massive bank account. He's an awesome dude. Very chill, very easy to talk to. Um, yeah, Zoo was uh, a lot of people, a lot of teams wanted, uh, but only one team can get Deathclaw, and uh, the Patriots will be bringing in, uh, with, you know, adding to what is already just an absolutely excellent draft. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a big add for the, the Patriots. Uh, they're they're going to round out that decor. They've got a very strong forward core. Uh, they got a goalie in Song Ju Gong, uh, the user Puppy. 
Uh, it's really well-rounded team they're building. CK has done an excellent I job. Mean, the amount of talent that they're accumulating is insane. And yeah, in five to eight seasons, when they're all coming to their peak, it's going to be a very scary team to deal with for the rest of us in the league. So, yeah, the the users they're bringing in are just absolutely crazy. Uh, and it's you know you you love to see it honestly just you know, people building. You, you love to teams. see it. You're also scared to see it as another player in the SHL because this is this is like Vegas loading up on the and the and at uh, the at the trade deadline because they have so many players injured, but we don't have that here. So we have people bringing in amazing amounts of talent. Yeah, uh, I mean, Zoo Zoo, you know, top. You're fantastic pick. I can like Montreal's killing it this draft, if I'm being honest. Uh yeah. they've had just, you know, absolute gems of picks. I don't think anyone's had a bad there's been no bad picks. All very excellent picks so far, if I'm being honest. Uh great drafts by all the teams here. To 100% date. Hundred percent agree with you. This will bring up pick thirteen and the Edmonton Blizzard are on the clock. Uh this will be their second of four first round selections. Man, we have a lot of players in the draft today. I'm just scrolling through the list of players, and I'm going, wow. We have a ton of people. Um, for the for these teams to pick, and they're all, I would say, good picks. And yeah, and just looking and just seeing talent left, right, and center draft. And the pick is in. At uh, 13, the Edmonton Blizzard are pleased to select uh, Bob Digi 9 the player Matvey Kajabi. Uh, we did have a bit of an inside track on this. Uh, he's a quieter <laughs> user, board, uh, but he is in a... Uh, I think it's an FHM league with one of our old players, Blix, uh, where he's like the most active player there. Uh, and Blix swears, like, if this guy doesn't hit 2K, he'll eat both his shoes and his hat. Uh, probably all his Bruins jerseys. Uh, but uh, yeah, like he's he's so high on this guy that uh, I trust Blix completely, so I had to go for him. Uh, we had a great chat together. Uh, he's a very mature, older user, uh, not as talkative, but he's a great guy, and uh, we're very stoked to be able to bring him in. Uh, was eyeing him very early in the scouting process when we started talking. Uh, you know, him and him and a couple other users. He just wanted the bad, and I'm I'm beyond excited to be able to bring him in. And next up, we have Hamilton, who is... This is their first pick in the first round. So Yeah, the Hamilton Steelhawks coming out. Halsey uh, finally decided to show up and make a pick. Uh, Long-time Hamilton GM Halsey's been there for what feels like uh, forever. Uh, and it honestly imagine. might be. <laughs> I can't even imagine uh, but, how uh, long it's since Halsey was there because he was there I when I first started the league Halsey joined the same season I did we were teammates in Kelowna uh, his player Bobby Killingworth uh, was uh, the, the second fiddle to my player in Kelowna uh, and then uh, he had a I think he recreated the next season because he fell up to bond TP but he's he's a great dude Halsey's awesome uh, and he's been building a, a great team All right, and didn't waste any time putting this one in. And the Hamilton Steelhawks will be selecting uh, Robo's Fan. Uh, Steve-O is cool, another user who's been awesome around the league. And um, Yeah, he was a longtime Blizzard uh, before I took over the job. I traded him in the second season of the job when we started to rebuild. Uh, he was a great dude. Uh, you know, We moved him with his, I think it's his brother or his friend, Taters. Uh, who's also in his draft. They, they recreated together. Uh, really easy to talk to. Not as talkative, but a real funny, good dude when he's here. Uh, was in the 59 class, which was absolutely... Uh, Robo's Fan is also a great concept. Like, it's his player, but turned robot, uh, robot. Which I think is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, I can't say enough good things about him. I think this is a, a fantastic pick for Hamilton. And uh, he's going to be a, a wonderful player on that all right, and next up, we've got Seattle with the 15th pick. 
This is Seattle's second pick in the first round. They traded down from second overall to get uh, five and then um, finagled 15 with the assets that they gained from well, the various trades that they were making the past while. Yeah, uh, Seattle's done a, a great job of bringing in talent. Uh, and a, a lot of users I really like are there. Uh, they may not be your you know your most noticeable or in your bunch, but they're definitely uh, great people when you talk to them and get to spend time with them. Uh, big fan of uh, the, the pieces they're putting together in Seattle. That's not the player. Is it? It is. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if it's not, we'll have our Steve Harvey moment of the draft after uh, we had the draft steals from earlier. Yeah, exactly. Got to have a got to have a Steve Harvey moment. And with the fifteenth overall pick, um, Seattle are going to select Christians Michaelis. F no respect uh, from the Ming Timber. He was undrafted in the J, claimed on waivers, but made a big impact as soon as he joined the team and for a rookie he's got pretty dang good stats so Seattle loading up a little bit on the back end after they selected a bunch of forwards in the past couple of drafts so now they're looking to upgrade the def uh, the D and start to build a complete team and get some compete going in the next three to five seasons as all these prospects mature and come up to the league. Um, the next pick, number 16, uh, Edmonton Blizzard, but unfortunately you don't get to keep it. It seems like we've lost HFFO. Just uh, trying to see if we can get him back. But we'll keep uh, soldiering on while waiting for Edmonton to make their next pick. Oh, hello. I hear somebody. Hi. Oh, it's Fish. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, taking over for HFFO or... <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Why not? Don't know much, but I'll do as much as I can. <laughs> so, Edmonton lost numbers. Uh, the pick, the 16th overall pick in this draft, due to some punishments in the previous. One. Couple. Hello. There we go. There we go. Yay. He's back. A bit of a, a bit of a blunder there. That's okay. But, uh, yeah, so the there was a, a tampering punishment that uh, cost uh, Edmonton pick 16 uh, in a, a season long gone by. Uh, but they'll be on the clock at 17 anyway, so uh, don't call it a comeback. And with the 17th overall pick, Edmonton selects Matty J from the Newfoundland the Berserkers. Yeah, uh, I'm not a Newfoundland. I'm a Newfoundland alum myself, uh, so I know he's he's coming from a, a good stock there. Uh, he's been pretty active on their Discord. Uh, he's a Baker Mayfield fan, so you know, I guess he likes mediocre, uh, which we'll have Ooh. to get up. But uh, yeah, he's got he's got a bunch. Of TV. He's been very active on the rookie Discord, very liked. Uh, 
you know, very solid bank account for a first gen coming in. Maybe not the crippling peaks we see it out of the Hove or the Cakes, but just uh, an excellent, uh, an excellent uh, prospect in his own right, and uh, a, a, an absolute. Honestly, I'd say a steal at 17. I expect him to go much higher, and uh, we're very stoked to be able to bring uh, a player like Maddie into the to the squad. Congrats to Maddie. And next up, we have the Philadelphia Fly. Uh, for <laughs> I was going to say the Flyers. Philadelphia. The Flyers Fly on the clock. Yes, the Flyers are on the clock. Uh, Forge, long-time contenders. Uh, one of the few top-end contenders that haven't traded their pick uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, been in several finals for the past year. Uh, honestly, just a, a juggernaut of a roster. Uh, you know, there, there's not enough you can say about the job the Forge have done. They're a, a, an absurdly strong uh, team and a well-run organization. And at... Uh... Oh, gotta get the color. One second. All good. And with the 18th overall pick, Philadelphia selects Mark the Tater Tot Jaegerson. Jaegerson? Jaegerson. Uh, Tater's uh, WC. Uh, the, this player, uh, he's... Uh, He's apparently supposed to be a uh, a bit of a, a bit of a pompous guy, uh, who uh, it's his uh, his old player's son. So he's like, "Do you know who my dad is? You know, you you, you can't talk to me like that." My dad was a an SHL player. And he was an all star. Uh, he's, he's a great dude, though. Another one of the Edmonton players created with his uh, his buddy Sven, uh, who's also in the draft. Uh, went to the uh, Hamilton Steelhawks. But uh, Taters is a great dude. Maybe not as much time as he once had. Uh, life's hit him a little harder, but he'll, he'll still be on Discord. So he'll be earning. He's got a massive bank account, and uh, he's going to be a, a wonderful pick for for the uh, Philadelphia Forge. Yeah, Taters is a legend. You're right, me cool. Gazoo tight. Thank you. You're welcome. And next up, 19th overall pick, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay with the first of the draft for them. Uh, DK, notorious for scouting the day before the draft. Uh, during I the believe he started at like, yeah, during, uh, I believe he started at like 8 p.m. last night. Uh, sent out like some initial messages, went to sleep, got back this morning. Uh, but uh, I was talking to him yesterday, and I feel like he had a pretty good idea of who he's going to end up with and who he wanted coming to the draft. And uh, the pick that I'm, I'm thinking he wanted makes a lot of sense in just so many levels. Uh, it's it's it fits just in so many different ways. But uh, yeah, I, I I'm excited to see what DK is going to do at pick 19. Uh, he's a great dude. Uh, been jailing Tampa for I think 64, 65 is when he started, and he's he's yeah. done real well with it. Yeah, he took over uh, from Trella uh, after. The zero fifties. No, no, there was the uh, oh, what's his face? It's in Texas now, or he got traded from Texas. It was the uh, I forget his name. But there was a guy who took over from Trella, and he was there for a Cuddles? bit. Ab not Abba Cuddles. Cuddles. No, not Abba. No, no. This is terrible because I was in Tampa during that time. Okay, this is on you. This is all on. This you is on most. me, and this is I blame this on my aging memory. Yeah, we I old. blame it on age. But, but with... uh, Tampa Bay Barracuda are taking Braden Point. Uh, the user... No goal. It's no goal, right? Yeah, no yeah. goal. Uh, he's a top-end user. Uh, fairly large bank account. TP's up there with the you know top 12. He's like, what, he's, eight behind the top user? His bank account is huge. First-gen, super, super involved in the Detroit Falcons locker room. And I believe he's an, he's an SHL head office intern as well, so very involved yep. in the league. Uh, I know that like he's he's a very uh, he, he's a person who knows what he wants. So like he he likes voice calling versus like you know text chatting. Which uh, and he'll ask. And I guess like a lot of people they'd rather just text chat. They they can find it a little weird. But uh, 
you know, he he's just a guy who knows what he likes and he, he goes for it. And uh, he's a strong personality. And if it's your cup of tea, go for it all the way. And you're going to get an absolute gem of a pick in a person. Uh, he's a really direct person, appreciates honesty. And I think they're getting a, a steal of a pick in Tampa with this selection, honestly. 100%. And last up, it's the last pick of the first round, and guess who's back? It's the Edmonton Blizzard again. With the fourth first round selection, Fifth, uh, the Edmonton Blizzard. You know, I guess if we're going technicalities. <laughs> well, Edmonton gets to close out the um, first round with this pick but there's still lots of players going into the second um, and possibly the third. We'll see how it goes. That are going to be great picks. Steals, so to speak. Yeah, for this uh, for this pick, I had to dip into my, my roots, uh, mine and Egg Crackers roots. Uh, we, we come from a specific J team together. That's how we uh, came to be united in unholy matrimony. Uh... You make it sound. But I, I, I was it, say, it's as bad as it sounds. So you haven't talked. If you haven't talked to Egg, in five minutes you'll know what I go through every day. Oh boy. <laughs> and with the last pick of the first round, uh, Thomas Hudson, the user Eric NCSU, uh, adding to the Edmonton Blizzard, a uh, a bit of an older user, a classical music fan, and uh, a good dude, very active in the rookie chat. Uh, he played on Texas with his last player, was there for a long time. Uh, and he's going to be coming to the Edmonton Blizzard now. So he's staying in the West, but uh, we're real excited to bring him in. I thought he might go uh, a little earlier, uh, so we might not be able to get a chance to have him. Uh, but I'm very stoked to be able to bring him in. I think he's a good dude and a great fit for the locker room and uh, for what we're building here at Edmonton, honestly. And with that, we are... Getting ready to get into the second round. We'll just take a short break and we'll be right back. I'm going to get a drink real quick. Give me one second.
better. Alright, welcome back to the S76 SHL entry draft. We're into the second round and Montreal is on the clock with pick number 21. Oh, we can the color color changed. Yep, that's ready to go. And with pick right. number twenty one, Montreal selects Jack Booth. It's Booth from the St. Louis Scarecrows. Yeah, Scarecrows. Coming State. out of the Scarecrows, I believe this player led the J in block shots as a rookie uh, this season, which is pretty incredible. I just want to say that the Scarecrows are smelly. That's also a known fact. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, just a, a great pick. Uh, he's been a, uh, from what I hear, just an excellent locker room presence. Uh, Jimmy messaged me about potentially, uh, you know, connecting Cake and Booth back together since they've been vibing really hard. Uh, I wasn't able to do it, but I think he's going to an excellent spot in Montreal. Who, as, as we've discussed, have been just killing it today, like just honestly murdering this draft. Uh, I think it's gonna be a, a great ad for them. Uh, getting a, a, another demon on that roster, and it's going to be a, a, a wonderful addition for them. Okay, picks are flying. Let me just get the next one ready. GMs are being quite decisive today. Not a lot of uh, waiting around. I mean, both good and bad for us in the presenting team keeps us on our toes for sure and with the 22nd pick Seattle selects Chuff the what is that display picture Chuff the Lee uh, I have it looks like a strawberry that someone tried to turn into hentai um, uh, but anyways uh, uh, Krayhoff 8 uh, a, a great user he's a bit of an older guy he's got a lot going on but uh, he said he was going to start working on some media his in-laws were in town so he wasn't sure if he's going to be able to watch the stream I don't know if you're still here uh, maybe you'll watch it later but uh, coming from the Raptors uh, that's a great pick I believe he's one of the top uh, uh, like TP to, to uh, time here users uh, but he's going to be a, a great pick uh, prime position d are hard to find uh, not many people want to play D, so being able to bring one in who's got high TP uh, is an active Discord user. He's a great haul in the early second round, and Seattle's going to enjoy uh, being able to bring in this weird strawberry. <laughs> is that a tooth on the strawberry? I, the, I want to look at it as little as possible, I'm being honest with you. That's very fair. But uh, we do have a Sports Center update. Do 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 do. Uh, there's a trade to announce at pick 23. Bear with us, Charlie. We'll get there. That's an interesting trade. So, so Seattle... Or, excuse me, not Seattle. Winnipeg wants to get in on the second round because they think they have a few good picks of that choice and they are trading away the Seattle or <laughs> Seattle the Texas Renegades season 77 first rounder in order to get the 23rd overall from this um, from this draft yeah this is a uh, Winnipeg seeing that uh, they, they got a player they really like they value at at least a first rounder and uh, Nola maybe not having a player they value as a first rounder, getting a, an offer that uh, they think is too good to keep, and you know might be a cap space thing as well, not being able to have the cap to keep them going as they aim to contend. And we'll see what Nola does with this pick that they have just acquired, because they are now on the clock. No, nope, the Winnipeg has acquired. Oh, the I'm pick. sorry, the Nola traded. Winnipeg. Let's looking at the board and. Uh, needs to be updated. Also, it wasn't a strawberry. It was meat hentai. It's a meat wad, apparently. Whatever that is. Does that make it better or worse? Um, If you consider flesh a prison, it's just everything's awful. Everything's awful. You know, with the strawberry, it was kind of like, oh, that's kind of cute. It's a strawberry that got punched in the face. It's got one tooth. <laughs> this no, is a little... it's... 
beef with a tooth in it because health safety regulations don't exist where beef are people anthropomorphized oh, anthropomorphized mm, beef I don't know this is just turning into a nightmare thanks guys I'm gonna have a good time trying to sleep tonight tell your children about this story never let them forget you the meat you know what lot. I just realized is that I do have Chuff is gonna be in, in Seattle and I'm going to get to see that render a lot. You more. might be on a line with a meat wad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be taking a face off, you'll look over to your wing, and you'll see just a just a then, sack of meat. And then I'll just be like frozen there doing the face off while... Uh, you're going to lose every draw, gonna yeah. Lose every you're going to have it's shock. Be haunted. It's like PTSD. Yeah. Okay. And Winnipeg has made their selection with the 23rd overall pick. Yeah, coming out of the Vancouver Whalers program, the first one selected, it's, uh, sorry, it might be second, uh, but it's Augie O, uh, the player No-No Joe. Uh, I don't know what this baby it's, render is, is it, from. It's the Gerber baby, I think. Is it? It might it be. Looks like uh, Gerber but baby. I find it kind of scares me. I don't know. The meat wad's still... Yeah, yeah, the that's fair. Still scarier to me. Seeing seeing a baby with a full grown man's body and a baby face is just it's a little off putting, but uh, Augie Augie was a great guy to talk to. I scouted him for a bit. He's got a really solid bank, excellent TP. Uh, he's a bit quieter, uh, but he's he's you know he'll participate when there's people to bounce off of, uh, and he's a he's a really good dude. They're gonna bring him a, a gem of a user in Winnipeg, uh, and it's gonna be a real good pick. Uh, one of the guys I, I liked uh, here as well, and Winnipeg always good at uh, uh, recognizing talent and going out and getting it. So. All right, and guess who's back up at pick number 24. The Edmonton Blizzard back on the clock, baby. How You'll love guys, to see it. How are you guys going to have space for all the players from this draft? Cap isn't real. Draft picks aren't real. Nothing is real. Only the dynasty. Only the dynasty is real. Fish, are you able to look into the ticker? The ticker is not showing up properly for me. Or it's showing up funky at any rate. Uh, that is not something I can fix. Okay. Just remember, uh, everything is Fish's fault. He's the event's head, so it's his fault. Uh, but correction, uh, Augie, Augio was a she and not a he, and that's uh, my apologies for fucking that up. Uh, I'll, I'll own that one. My apologies. I thought it was Jert's fault because he's the event's head. Uh, Jert is no longer the event's head. He Whoa. stepped down. Uh, he's just the shadow head now. He's still there for now. Okay, so it's, it's just... Fishy's fault and Jert's by association. Yes. Yes. There we go. Okay. Well, that is screwing up again. Thanks, OBS. And with the 24th overall pick, um, Edmonton selects Dash Jackson from the Yukon Malamutes. Yeah, uh, Egg and I met in the illustrious Yukon Malamute program, uh, so we've got a, a good connection there. He was a waiver pickup, uh, which makes his TP even that much more impressive. That is impressive. Uh, he's got $7.2 million in his bank right now, but uh, when you consider the fact that he was the only Yukon prospect this season that stayed active... Uh, he got a fat wad of cash. He's getting a thirteen million dollar deposit uh, coming in, so he's gonna have twenty million uh, heading into a after this draft. Impressive. Uh, active player, uh, very team first guy. Excited to see the sim, and he's a defenseman. We took so many forwards this draft. We needed a defenseman so fucking bad. Well, the, it seems to come and go in waves. The defense versus forwards in this league, so it's always interesting trying to balance your picks and trying to make sure you have a good mix of um, forwards and defensemen so that you don't have to overpay on the in the trade market or in the free agency market down the line when you're trying to compete for the cup 
yeah, no, it's uh, making sure you fill the positions out yourself rather than trying to make someone else do it for you is, is super key. Because uh, if there's something we know about GMs in the league, they will absolutely make you overpay if they can. It also depends on your um, approach to it, because if you remember in Seattle, Tig, Tig was notorious for trading away his first round picks for players. I don't think he ever picked in the first round until 68 or 69 because yeah, he was uh, trading away his first Tig doesn't is... believe prospects are people. No. He only believes established SHLers are people and you can tell uh, cuz he doesn't G uh, he doesn't coach a real team in real life. He coaches the worst team in all of Alberta, like worst AAA team in all of maybe Canada, honestly. They're horrendous apparently. Which is not an indictment of Tig's coaching, I'm sure. I'm sure it's the players who are bad. But uh yeah, Tig was a great dude. We miss him. He he's still around. It's not the no, no. It's not the same. It's not the same. And with the next pick there is a trade to announce. Is there? No. No, I'm lying. No, you're lying. <laughs> I don't think there was a trade to announce. It's a prank. Nope. Okay. Nope. No, no trade. Okay. No trade. This is the correct player. The Toronto North Stars uh, on the clock. They'll be selecting Cade DeVries, the user Ultimate Destroy. Uh, Ulti uh, is another top TP defenseman uh, coming from the ISFL. Uh, he's uh, a graphics guy. He's going to be doing cards uh, for his ISFL team. Might do some for the SHL team. Uh, really excellent pick by by Wally and uh, Grids here. Uh, a prime position D-man. Excellent TP. Uh, he's got a bunch of money. He's going to be a, a stalwart on that blue line in the future. Uh, just a, a, a great guy. He's really big in the ISFL. Uh, he'll be active on Discord and, and bring him to the locker room. Great, great pick. And next up, New England, pick number 26. Yeah, we got the uh, New England Wolfpack, uh, another longtime contender. Luke uh, manages to keep his team always active and going in the uh, the playoff race. Uh, they just moved, uh, I, I believe to acquire this pick, they moved Jacques Emmer uh, as he went inactive. He used to be the New England co-GM. Uh, moved him over to Minnesota with retaining two million. This is their first pick in this draft, which, considering how often they've been competing for, um, for the cup, not terribly surprising. But they are finally dipping their toes into the draft with pick number twenty-six. Yeah, and they'll be taking uh, D Roop, uh, Droop. Uh, these are Chuck Chunky, uh, heading to the uh, New England Wolfpack. Uh, his bank's really low, but he's an active, uh, very solid TP defenseman. Uh, he's hopefully going to, you know, be building that bank, and it's going to be a, a great pick for Luke. Uh, he's he's taking a, a chance on a solid user. Uh, had some good scouting conversations with him. I think it's going to be a a very solid pick for the uh, the Wolfpack. Uh, Luke knows what he's doing, and it, it shows in this pick for sure. One hundred percent. Okay, and next up, Chicago with pick number 27. They are now on the clock. Yeah, I know uh, Nike Nike and uh, Co. are already just having a, a whale of a day. Uh, he's He'd spent the past like week like, oh, man, I don't know if my guy's going to be there. Uh, he'd been hoping for Jove the whole time, and uh, he falls to him at seven. He's he's just having a fantastic day. Uh, so th these these other picks are going to be just you know other pick I guess uh, is going to be just just uh, you know cherry on top of the the beautiful uh, ice cake, whatever you want to call it. But uh, it's going to be it's going to be wonderful. Uh, he's having a, a whale of a day here for Nike. I thought you were going to say gravy on top of the cake, and then I was, I was going to go what? Yeah, gravy right on top of the biscuit, you know. I guess gravy goes on biscuits if you're from the south. And with the 27th overall pick, Chicago selects 
Oh, I get it. Peek boo. Peekaboo, uh, the user Jason Kranz heading to the uh, Chicago Syndicate. Uh, Nike, a, uh, a Newfoundland alum, a lot of Newfoundland alum in Chicago. So he's got an inside track on Jason Kranz. Uh, he's got a solid TP base with a, a bit of a low back count, but maybe something to build. But uh, yeah, this is the Newfoundland connection coming out with Nike uh, in Chicago. And it's uh, it, it remains strong through the the many years that this connection has existed. And next up, we have Tampa Bay with pick number 28. It's moving on along here. Oh, this is the trade pick. <laughs> oh, there's a, a trade. trade to announce. Trade? Yeah, the... Uh... The Dwight Knights, uh, the Tampa Bay Barracuda, are sending the 28th selection to uh, the Philadelphia Forge. Uh, the Forge in return will be sending their 77 Philadelphia second and 78 Philadelphia second. Uh, so two Philly seconds in next season and the pre uh, preceding season for pick 26 from Tampa Bay. Uh, this will have the Philadelphia Forge on the clock. Pick 28. Yep. Sorry, I thought you said 26. Numbers aren't real. The Forge will be selecting uh, three WW Wingmate Rock. Uh, the user Lemonopy. Uh, honestly, just a really great dude. Real mature, real smart, uh, fun guy to talk to. Uh, kind of a whack render, but you know it is what it is. Wait, is Excellent that a TP. Magic card? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's got a solid bank account. Excellent TP. There were some concerns he might be a J only player, or he might not want to stick at a certain locker room. Uh, he's looking to stick around if he likes the culture. Uh, but he has admitted he might be a flight risk if he doesn't like the culture or he's not uh, super into the like what's happening or he might make it a, you know a only player but uh, I think when you have a strong culture like the forge uh, I, I'm positive do uh, the flight risk is kind of non-existent uh, you believe you can keep that player around you take a gamble on an excellent dude to be a first round pick otherwise at this point and just be an absolute steal for you uh, which they've been known to do on occasion like nibbles the squirrel went in the late second and uh, the Forge have routinely pulled out top end picks. Next up, pick number 29, San Francisco Pride with what would be their first selection of this draft. Yeah, uh, San Francisco uh, made a lot of moves lately. They brought in Bad Wolf for three first, uh, traded for Blix and Justin Time from Edmonton this offseason, uh, looking to prime to push forward as a contender as they've been a growing team for a while uh, and try to take that next step forward for next season. They'll have a first-round pick on the clock, and there's some good prospects still on the board, uh, some, some good names uh, remaining that they'll be able to choose from. Okay, the pick is in, and with pick number 29, San Francisco selects Lucas Raymond, J.J. Langabeer. In case you're wondering, yeah, uh, he's the player on the right, not the left. J.J. <laughs> uh, Langabeer was a season 10 draftee on his first player. Uh, I believe he was a Hall of Famer, if not just a, a very excellent player in his time, very active. Uh, he has had some some inconsistent bouts of returning as a, a player since, uh, but uh, he's he had a really excellent like magazine style article about his player in the draft coming up. If you haven't seen it, uh, you know, and I, I think it, this this pick is a real steal potential uh, for San Francisco if they can keep him around. Uh, Lang is an awesome dude to have in your locker room. Great dude to talk to. Uh, pride of an excellent culture that he'll fit in with uh, immediately. It's going to be a, a great pick for them at this point. Alright, halfway 
through the second round and picks are coming fast and furious. New England back on the clock with pick number 30. ready to go with pick number 30 they select Bojan Miowski double dub from Regina yeah uh, an elk player heading over to the uh, New England Wolfpack uh, a defense with solid TP the the money's a bit low but money is often fixable if you can get a player interested and involved uh, find ways to help them you know figure out like you know if they're good with graphics or they want to get on a podcast or jobs or uh, get them on some media, get some joint media going. You can even give them a big contract, but I don't think Luke will have the cap to do that. Uh, but uh, it's going to be a, a solid pick so far. Uh, high TP, uh, salary cap guy. But uh, yeah, it should be a great pick for him. I mean, yeah, with the current SHL, the money situation is not much of an issue. There's so many things you can do. The rookie bonuses, um, like you said, podcasts. Uh, there's all these contests happening for um, I IIHF fantasy. There's many avenues to fix the money issue, but getting a great player, that's harder to do. Uh, next up, pick number 31, Seattle back on the clock. Yeah, we got the... Uh... The I boats are uh, going to be making their selection. Yeah, this late into this, well, this late, starting to get into this part of the draft, this is where GMs can mine pretty good value for their players. Um, on guys that have fallen down the draft for some reason or another and in the future they can turn out to be a 2k player that helps your team win the cup so even well it's also good to keep in mind that like not every player in your team can be 2k because you won't have cap it's just it's just not feasible to expect every player to 2k That's a lie. so even like very high-end depth players you know, like your 1400, your 1500 TPEs, your 1300 TPEs are, are going to be necessary to be able to build a, a sustainable team moving forward. And uh, yeah, but this uh, Seattle pick is on the clock. Uh, Huck24, the user Lyle Odelin, the fourth. Uh, it's uh, Huck20. Huck's a great guy, really good to talk to. Uh, he's coming back after his last player, he retired, uh, had a bit of a going away and coming back. Uh, hope he's doing better now, but Huck's a great dude to talk to, adds to the locker room. Uh, Seattle's getting a, a great pick here, and hopefully they can develop him into uh, just, a, just a real excellent player to fit the gem of the user he is. If Huck's... Uh, if, Lyle Old, uh, if Lyle Odeline 4 is anywhere near his past predecessors, this is going to be one heck of a steal in the middle of the second. Yeah, no, Absolutely. Next up, Minnesota with their first pick of the draft at 32. Uh, they recently completed a rebrand. I really like the new logo that, uh, that's been proposed. The, uh, the butterfly, the crown, crowned butterfly? Yeah. I, I get I get what they're going for. I'm just not a the monarch name doesn't do much for me, and I'm not a big butterfly guy. But it's a lot better than it was. It's better. It's than a Burger significant King. upgrade. It was, yeah, it was yeah. Not being Burger. Burger King anymore. Uh, no whoppers being given out in Minnesota anymore is a, is a huge upgrade.
guess we're still using the old logo. With the 32nd pick, Minnesota selects Turtle Bob. Uh, the user Cuffy from Newfoundland. Yeah, Cuffy straight out of Newfoundland. He's also an actual real life Newfie. Uh, he's been around a, a pretty long time. Uh, I think he joined in, I want to say the mid teens. Uh, he's, he's a good dude. Uh, he's been inconsistent with his players since coming back. The bank's a little low, the TP's a little low. Uh, but he's hoping to come back and make a, a solid SHLer. Uh, he's a good dude to have in the locker room, good dude to just shoot the shit with. Uh, coming in at defense, which is a prime position, and uh, could be a could be a legitimate piece for the uh, Monarchs moving forward. I'm excited to see what he does with uh, his player. All right, and next up we've got Montreal again with pick number 33. Moving pretty fast today. We Montreal's put their pick in, and it is Chopper Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Yeah, that's a uh, Am Johnson six three six. I believe they were one of the uh, many waiver pickups uh, that uh, uh, no, has graced the forty eighth overall for the Nevada. Okay, battle. no, they were in the draft. Never mind. Uh, they're. TP is really impressive. Uh, 337 is very solid uh, for a late second round pick. Uh, the money is a bit of a concern, but something to, to build on and work for sure. And uh, you could see where where they're they're going for that pick. Uh, the pick could be an absolute steal if they get uh, that money earning. And uh, I don't know much about the the activity of this player. I haven't seen them much on the rookie Discord, but uh, they might just be active in Nevada and uh, you know have some insider information there. And uh, it should be a solid pick from what I'm seeing here. All right, and we're back to Hamilton on the clock, pick number 34. Yeah, pick 34, the uh, the Hamilton Steelhawks making their selection. And with pick uh, number 34, we've got Will Nuck. Nuck. And considering who he's got as a render, I'm going to say he's a Canucks fan. Because I recognize that as Roger Zarina. Yeah, he is a Canucks fan. Uh, Nuck is a, a very long-time SHL user. Uh, he also, anyone in the eyes fell, uh, this was the man who founded the Yukon, uh, Yukon Wraiths, uh, in season one. Uh, he's, I think he's had one or two Hall of Flame players in the SHL. Uh, he earns really well. He's very vocal. Uh, he's a, he's a fun guy to shoot the shit with. He's a, a bit of an older guy, so, uh, he, he, he meshes with a certain kind of people. He's very, uh, outspoken about his thoughts, uh, but he's got a great heart, and I think he's gonna be a great fit in Hamilton. Uh, you know, a defenseman with that kind of bank and that TP at this late in the second round, Halsey's getting a, a real steal at this position. Going up to pick number 35 for Seattle. coming in fast and furious. Seattle have put in pick number 35. Uh, Caper Poirot, Poirot Jelly Ramp from the Vancouver Whalers. Uh, a waiver pickup that's with pretty good stats for uh, somebody who came in came in later into the uh, league. Vancouver, uh, for a team that lost a lot, they put up a lot of really good offensive numbers in Shawnee's first year as the GM. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. You love to see that. Uh, but yeah, heading uh, as a waiver pickup, he's got a decent bank. Uh, TP's coming. It's, it's something I can develop for sure, uh, especially when you come late. But uh, Seattle could be getting a, a real gem of a pick here late in the uh, the second round. Back 
to Edmonton for a pick number 36. said things are coming in fast and furious. Edmonton with number pick number 36 picks Tank Sharksy. Yeah, uh probably one of the one of the all-time names of the draft. Uh Tank Sharksy is a great name. Uh his interest has been a little waning and and suspect of late. Uh we're kind of taking a shot at him cuz of the the person we know that he could be. Uh you know, we we hope to bring him back to activity, uh get him get him earning and excited for the league again. Uh, I really like Arm the Sharks as a dude. He's a good guy. He's got 16 mil with 305 TP. Uh, could be a real solid pick. Uh, and we're hoping to uh, to get him active and excited for the league again. Coming from the Whalers. That's back-to-back -back Whaler picks too, right? That's right. We've got back-to-back -back picks from the Whalers. And um, I believe he came over to the Whalers in a trade. I'm trying to remember my J history because um, it does say that he was selected fifth overall by the Regina Elk, but he is no longer with the Elk. Yeah, uh, I believe it was at the draft a trade was made or the day after. I'm not sure. Yeah, it was early in the season. If I, it's, uh, if I remember my trade history correctly in the J, um, which isn't all that common, to be fair, in the J to, to see a trade done, especially of such a high draft pick that soon after they get drafted. Yeah, I think it's because he wanted to... He, he's been a long-time Whaler. He GM'd the Whalers for a bit, and he wanted to play in Vancouver. Uh, so that's why the uh, the deal would have happened. Oh, ah, I see. Okay. Pick 37. New Orleans Spectres are on the clock. are coming fast. Ooh, that is that is quite the stash. And yeah, that's a that's a thing. That's <laughs> that's impressive. Someone hates us, and it's that person. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, again, I have to say, scarecrows are stinky. And uh, the New Orleans Spectres selecting from the scarecrows, uh, Nathan Abel, uh, heading over to the to New Orleans, uh, do the pyro. Uh, 302 TP right winger with uh, 1 million in the bank. He's active on Discord, excited for the league. Uh, had a great conversation with him. Uh, he'll fit the Spectres really well with a mustache like that. And uh, should be a, a great pick for Joe in this draft. He's having a, a very solid one, if quiet. Getting close to the end of the second, we have Philadelphia up next with pick number 38. Philadelphia with pick number 38 or 38 picks the Codfather Big Noof selected 19th overall by the Timber um, slightly low TBE I would say for somebody chosen in the second round of the J but man that is a big bank yeah that's uh, what collecting contract money and not spending it does I guess uh, he's only but, had uh, one contract. No, he's a recreate. Uh, oh, he used recreate, to play okay. for, used to play for Edmonton. Ended his uh, career in Buffalo last season. Uh, okay. uh, used to be the uh, co-GM of the Yukon Malamutes with Flu when he formed the team. Uh, but uh, yeah, he is. He's been pretty MIA of late. Hopefully, um, the Forge can reinvigorate him and bring him back. Maybe give him some water, let his gills breathe, and then. Uh, be back in a surprise pick for the Forge. Yeah. <clears throat> and next up, we've got Hamilton, pick number 39, getting close to the end of the second.
And they will be taking uh, Roman Jalopsky, that damn walrus. Uh, another longtime SHL user. He'll be heading to Hamilton, uh, where I believe he he has a lot of friends in Hamilton, if I recall. Uh, he's close with Halsey and their, their gang there. And, uh, yeah, another prospect coming out of the Whalers. They seem to be dominating this uh, late second round here. Minnesota closing out the second round with the last pick, pick number 40. With pick number 40, Minnesota selects Jason Warwaha Boomcheck. Another recreate. Um, not super familiar with Boomcheck. Boomcheck uh, was a guy I had on my team in Minnesota in season 17. Oh, wow. He's been around a long time. Uh, his first player was a... He was a solid second-line player, but his other players since have been uh, pretty middling, but he's been sticking around. Uh, he's a good dude. He's fun to talk to. Uh, I want to acquire our Discord users. But if you can keep around, he's got a solid bank with TPE and could be a, a good fit going back to Minnesota, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, full circle uh, moment there. That ends the second round, and we're about to start round three with Montreal pick number 41. Pick number 41, Montreal starts off <clears throat> the third round. Left defense, Joe Dijen. Yeah, coming out of the Newfoundland Berserkers, he's been pretty active there. He's a, he's a big uh, NHL player, like a Chell player. Uh, plays some games. Uh, TP is not bad. Banks kind of low, but not terrible. Uh, he was a waiver claim. And uh, should be a good fit. It's kind of a steal at this point, uh, you know, getting him the, the third round. Uh, someone who's active on Discord, like a, an active participant with some money, uh, could be a could be a really good pick for the uh, the Patriots here. Seattle with their last pick of the draft, number forty-two. Now on the clock. Pause after this pick. Okay. And with the 42nd pick, Seattle <clears throat> picks up Joe Dijen. No, he just got taken. Oh, hang on, that screwed up again. <laughs> what is going on here? You're just trading everyone, eh? That's right. I'm just screwing up everything in the league, sowing chaos. Tough job, but someone's got to do it. All right. That was Michael Serra. Um, Seattle picks Pepe Giuseppe, Joey Poggers, uh, out of the Carolina Kra Kraken. Um, slightly concerning that he's negative a million dollars. But, like I said, like we said, money is fixable. Uh, yeah, absolutely. GB, so, pretty pretty decent. Money may be fixable, but that username isn't. Well, the use Actually, is... if you have money, you can change your username, so... So, it is fixable. Money fixes everything. Okay. Money fixes everything. That's the, the memo we'd like to leave you with today. Yes. And, this draft uh, sponsored by money. Sponsored by I wish. <laughs> I wish. Uh, we're just going to take a short break for a second right after this pick.
Alrighty, we're back in business. Um, Manhattan passes on pick number 43, so that means Calgary is on the clock with pick number 44. And with pick number 44, Calgary chooses Anastasia Soderstrom from the Detroit Falcons. The user, boom. Um, this is our first goaltender selected in the first draft. First goaltender selected, and I mean, she kind of had a collapse in the playoffs, which probably didn't help her draft stock any. Uh, she was great for in the regular season for the Falcons as she got her feet under her. Um, replacing the superstar Wayne Holloway, who graduated from the J and moved up to the SHL. But um, when it came to the postseason, Anastasia had a bit of a hiccup and uh, was replaced by Luke Frum, um, starting in the second round. Unfortunately, the Detroit Falcons uh, couldn't get past the second round as uh, the first couple of games didn't go their way. But uh, superstar goalie for the Detroit Falcons was named to the all-star team let's see if she can regain her form in the in the sophomore season yeah and just an excellent piece for the Dragons moving forward uh being able to bring their their GM in uh to uh to join their team you'll love to see it yeah. uh because it's the law it has to happen it's the law and if there's something Rose Puff does it's enforce the law he is head office Toronto up with pick number 45. Toronto. Do you say Toronto or Toronto? Toronto. Toronto. Hmm. Toronto. Yeah, as a uh, Torontonian, you know, that's... Uh, no, I just say Toronto. But we have a trade here, I believe, right? Let's double check our trade notifications. There is indeed a trade. Baltimore Platoon um, gets the Toronto third, 45th overall, and Toronto receives the 77 third round peak, uh, pick for, from the Baltimore Platoon for the next draft. So Baltimore uh, trading into the draft pretty late I have to say I don't think yeah they didn't they haven't had any other picks um, on the board until 55 so they decided to move up a little bit I guess Chris wants to get involved and uh, he's he's going to absolutely all right so Baltimore on the clock Number 46, Baltimore selects Archibald Walker Benson from the Vancouver Whalers. Yeah, coming in with uh, 297 TP. He's been earning well. He's a defenseman. Um, uh, earning all very well. good things. That's a 297 is not terrible. It's almost the the money. The money is an issue, of course. Uh, he's maxed uh, out because I believe yeah. you can go negative 1.5. Well. You say that, and yet the legend of Andre Kostitsin lives. Uh, clean uh, Andre yes. Kostitsin, uh, who is, I believe, negative 15 
million, maybe more, in the SHL bank? I think that's before we enforced those limits. No, say. what happened was, as uh, there was an error with the cards where you could go over with the card payments and it wouldn't stop you. But he was the only person who had done it, and he <laughs> just kept going. Happened? I just thought yeah. he got missed in the, no. in the limit. No, it was the cards. He just kept getting cards, and he wasn't using his player. He just kept racking up immense amounts of debt. You heard it here, kids. Cards are bad. Oh, if you like your player, cards are bad. Don't do cards. Not even once. Oh. That'll bring us to uh, what, Balta, uh, Minnesota, right? 46. Minnesota on the clock. With pick number 46, we get our second goaltender selection of the draft. Um, Lee Harrison, Zayti Gamoja TZ. Um, 267 TPE. Yeah, that's how I pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> and negative one and a half. He is, this guy's completely tapped out from the Great Yeah, he's, he's going to be a backup goalie, though. That's an elite backup goalie right there. But uh, yeah, that's a tapped out goalie uh, heading over to the the Monarchs. Uh, probably to be a future backup if they need one. Yep. And we are up to Chicago, pick number forty-seven. There's a trade to announce. Oh, another trade. What? The trades are happening in the later part of the draft. Quite surprisingly. Ah. The Steelhawks are trading into the third or slightly higher to the third round. 47th overall, and the Syndicate received the third round pick from Hamilton for the next draft. Yeah, so Hamilton trading up to pick 47. Sorry, I forgot to put the trade. Uh... No, that'll be okay. It's, it's a third round trade. Uh, Hamilton's on the clock now. Let's see what they do. Hamilton has put in their pick. And Hamilton chooses Carter Stankoven. User Phoenix from the Kelowna Knights. Yeah, heading this late, uh, Carter's active. He's active on the Discord. Uh, he wanted to be scouted. The bank's a little low. Uh, the TP is a little low as well. But uh, it's something you can grow into and then maybe work with him to, to help get him to understand the, the ways to make those numbers go up, right? And, and continue to grow as a player. Uh, Hamilton's good for, for working through with that. They've got a Discord full of experienced users and hopefully can turn him into a, a solid player in the future. And next up, 48, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay selects Andy Lammers. A Lam 87 uh, from the Vancouver Whalers. Yeah, max negative bank, 266 TPE. Uh, taking a long shot on a player who might be active on Discord. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, you might be able to get a decent defenseman out of it. Uh, you, you definitely take a shot and see what you can uh, get out of them and, and hopefully have a, a solid roster piece in the future. We are moving to the third. Seattle, pick 49. Seattle picks up um, Squilliam Fancy Sun. Who is that render? Familiar yet, I can't place it. Uh, Henrik Lundqvist? No. No. 
Uh, I didn't really fall there. User Kanye33. Um, no, that's not Kanye, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Selected uh, from the Anchorage Armada. Uh, looks like another player who's not quite Pretty as Pretty tapped out. Yeah. That's okay. Hopefully, with the selection, it can kind of rejuvenate them and get them reinterested and bring them back. Uh, the renderer is Christopher Moltisanti. I have no idea who that is. All right. And with pick number 50, Toronto passes. He's a fictional character in The Sopranos. Ah. Makes sense. I haven't seen The Sopranos. I googled it. <laughs> ah, thank you. Uh, Toronto passes. That means New Orleans is back on the clock. Beely. Oh, it's Joe. Joe's uh, Joe taking himself. Taking himself in the third round. He would. He would. Makes Could even sense. get pick sixty nine and take himself. Tragic. I don't know. Come on, Joe. Yeah, Joe's a good dude. Heading to his team. Uh, you love time, to see it. Long time user. Been part of the league for so long that I don't even know when he started. It was the Mesozoic era. Was uh, the uh, time. And uh, pick number 52, Chicago. It's on the clock. We are starting to see teams passing, ending their draft. Um, looks like New Orleans is done after Joe. So is Edmonton. With pick number 52, um, New, or uh, New Orleans, Chicago selects Lucas Fisher. Cup of bread, $25,000. That's a very precise number. Very oddly specific. That's got to be cards, right? It's got to be. It's got to be cards. Cards is, cards is bankrupted our generation. It's not uh, avocado but, uh, toast anymore. It's, it's SHL cards. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it might be an active user heading to the syndicate. Uh, TP's a bit low, money's a bit low, but uh, mm -hmm. Chicago can pull out a steal, maybe. Somebody get him into the player assistance program. The card assistance program. Card assistance program. CAA. <laughs> CAP. 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 Haha. Um, pick number. F oh wait, hang on. Pick number fifty-four. Hamilton. It's on the clock. Do we have anybody? Sometimes picking this late is actually harder than picking early because you're trying to see if you can find somebody that uh, you can get late oh, yeah, that's yeah. active. There's, there's different challenges to it. There's a lot less pressure here, so you can just throw a bunch of darts and see what happens. Yeah, but you also want to make sure your darts kind of land somewhere, so a little bit hard. All right, pick number 54. Hamilton chooses Big Poppy clap bomb, clap bomb four. I'm guessing it's a it's a baseball fan, uh, based on the player name and the uh, render. username. Oh, and the, the render, yeah. Username. 
Uh, didn't uh, manage to fund a J team, so they stayed a free agent, but uh, has some money and some TP. I mean, the fact that they did that without a J team, hats off to them. That's quite amazing. Yeah. And then we are up to pick number 55, Baltimore. Pick number 55, Baltimore selects Josh Fewer. Fancy 13, 216 TPE, $5.9 million. That's not bad. Decent sized bank. Uh, TP is a bit low, but uh, prime position in TPE. If they can turn him around, it'll be a, a big haul for for Baltimore. He's taking some, uh, some good chances late in the draft. Taking some swings here and... Coming out of Nevada, too, I assume uh, Trips might have got some inside info from Jess, yeah. uh, who GMs the team there. And 56 Edmonton passed, so 57 Texas is on the clock. Seven Connor Samard, no name ninety nine, two hundred seventy eight TPE, three point six million from Nevada, uh, was selected thirty fourth overall. So I assume another player who's gone inactive, unfortunately. So hopefully, can think that turn things around and bring them back, and um, be a good late rounder for Texas. Yeah, there's before. some potential. Texas is a team that loves uh, throwing the darts to see if they can land a, a, a pick later in the draft, and uh, hopefully it works out for them. Yeah. All right, we are looking straight, uh, going straight into the fourth round, pick number 61 for Montreal, start of the fourth. Okay, pick number 61. Montreal has, let's see here. Montreal, Juice Williams. User is juice.williams. And 259 TPE, Great Falls. Left defense, um, probably, unfortunately, another inactive. Uh, next up, pick number 64, LA with their first pick of the draft. Dipping a finger, a pinky finger, very gently into the draft. Trent, Rever Trent Rivera, Trent Gachi. Uh, again, another Nevada player. 211 TPE, and we've got teams passing. San Francisco. Real yeah, pick politic. 69, the pride. Yeah, pick 69. Real politic hedgehog. Sorry. Devious hedgehog. Real politic devious hedgehog. Yo, okay. It's uh, the user is Bauer. Yep. And then um, getting into the late, late fourth. Hamilton speed Hamilton Steelhawks Timo Lapanen Canucks fan 22 and then Baltimore Weldon McConnell username Cabana 84 then uh, we got passes at 76 to 79 Nine. with LAP on the clock taking Smash Davis the user Smash yeah 
Montreal taking Connor McDusty, username Connor McDusty. And we've got Scapegoat, uh, San Francisco Pride, number 89, How Adrian. Okay, we've got a bunch of passes. Pick one, pick number one zero one, Montreal Patriots. De Quavion Davis two, arc twenty. Montreal taking a lot of late picks. Uh, Maybe six in a row. Yeah, total. All the other teams are passing from one hundred and two to one twenty. We've got Chris, uh, SP Chris, Simon Wyman. Well, let's go. 121, 141, Simon Wyman, Frogman. 161, Joe Biggs, River Papas. 181, TJ Long, Prey. Also, same as the username. And the last pick, 201, Mason Chernetsky, M Churn, 1069. Yeah, the irrelevant player of the draft, uh, Mason Chernetsky. And we have ended the draft. Thanks for tuning in and have a great night. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for sticking with us and have a good night.